Okay, my name's Lee Hughes, and uh, I have discovered a software program on the Nintendo DS. So if you're interested in animation and would like to make your own type of animations, then I would recommend this. I've just been trying it out. Tried making a little animation last night on here, and uh, some more today. I'm in the process of making one right now. Got my permanent marker and my Sharpie pen. And I'm in the process of making an animation here, right. Here we go, that's the process. That's what I've got up to at the moment. Moe's Tavern, that's what I'm drawing. And then. Um, interested in making your own animation like I said all you need really is a Nintendo DSi or Nintendo DSi XL or even the Nintendo 3DS or what I've got here the Nintendo 3DS XL and you obviously need an internet connection because you can download this software program which is only 500 points which in pounds is roughly about five pound so it's very cheap very simple um, software to use we do is just draw something on here and then click shoot frame to take each still and then you can play back what you've done so far just by pressing on that so I've done nine stills at the moment so all I'll do is just press that and then we press that again that's what I've done at this part of the animation and then when you build that up then you can got more there anyway this software is called Inchworm Animation and it can be found on the DS shop so just go there on your DS and you'll find it there for 500 points I better get back to making my animation though not quite a bit to do yet. Really well now. We see uh, 67 more shots on top of the 112 that I had before. And this is where I've got up to right here. You can see on the top screen here. So I can. Uh, that, that's what I've got up to there. It's looking good. And now we need to do is press plan, and you can see it in action so far. The second part that is, as the first part can't play moment but it's you can export uh, each individual frame as a you know animation either as a flash file SWF file or as a bitmap image which you know that's that could be opened up by paint but um, I've got an idea as to how you can put this animation together to be honest um, I'll export every image that I get as a bitmap file and then I'll, and then it'll be an image. Each individual frame is, you know, an individual image file. Then I can import that into Windows Movie Maker, and then basically slow it down to about roughly about 10 or 15 milliseconds per image, and then it should play like a proper animation see I've got it all planned out already now all right this is anyway this is uh, basically what I've got up to so right here we go I'm gonna press play now 
It's going to play these last 67 frames, and you can see what I've got up to. See? It's looking good already. Anyway, I'm going to uh, just continue with this now. Just doing Mose. So there's the E. What I'm going to do now. It requires a lot of patience to do this. coming together nicely I'm very pleased with this now this is what I've got up to right now and I'm just about to export the second lot of images so it's another 112 still frames to export onto the SD card um, and, it, and it's very simple really if you just read those instructions there to choose BMP sequence and it'll export them for you and put them on the SD card then you can use them um, to uh, you know put your animation together so let's see then, right, choose the image type, so I'm going to pick screenshot, and OK, uh, let's see, frames will be stored, enter the name that's needed to name the folder, because it's going to save it on the fold, in a folder, there's the name, that will store all of these images in together with the last slot, hopefully anyway. And then we click OK here. And then watch the preview on the top and so Mose. OK. Let's export in the files now, as you can see. Uh, that's... Hopefully that'll go together with the other ones in exactly the same folder. I'll be able to get the SD card, put it in my laptop and put all the animation together and then I'll get the final result and I can't wait to see it because I've worked hard on this today and I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with that. But there's still more to go yet because more to do, more to add to this Moe's Tavern. Been, uh, brilliant with this animation now um, I'm still going making fantastic progress and this is where I'm up to I'm just drawing in the pavement at the moment actually I can press play on that now fantastic Making more great progress. Uh, and shoot the frame. That's 104 more still pictures there. Now we can try and been working all afternoon on this. This is what I've got so far. Right. Takes a lot of concentration to get this right. But it's looking fantastic. I'll show you what, uh, how I get on a bit later. 
It's the 20th of February 2013. It's, it's five past ten at night and uh, I've just finished my next batch of still images so it's about 112 more it's exporting right now preview is up there I'm very pleased with this actually it's taken me all day so far just to come up with this and just to get this far yesterday I practiced drawing Homer Simpson uh, a couple of times, but this one is, uh, I mean, I'm enjoying this a lot more. That's how, f well, that, there, yeah, that's, so far that's how I, how far I've got to. This film is really starting to look good now. Just adding some colour. It's going to look even better with colour. Well, it's 12 o'clock midnight and uh, I've just done my final lot now. That's the final of the 112 um, animation stills for this evening. This is my final result this evening. Looks so much better now with the colour and all the bits added to it there but I'm not finished yet still. There's still more animating to do. So I should try and see if I can continue to do this tomorrow. And there, brilliant there with all that colour. See what I can do tomorrow. I'll just leave that to export those files for me then.